appropriate measures. So sometimes one measure is more appropriate than other measures to use to summarize a data set. So the following will summarize this idea, but the only way to really understand what each of these is talking about in terms of data is by experimenting with different data values uh, and determining uh, which one would be the best or most appropriate uh, measure to summarize the data. So let's take a look at the mean. So the mean is most appropriate when the data has no extreme values. Remember we talked about outliers. The median is most appropriate when the data has extreme values. Because remember, the median is the center. So even if there's one at the very end that's really high, or one that's very low on the other side, it's not going to really affect the center value of the data. But one little caveat to this, there shouldn't be any large gaps in the center of the data. Because then that would throw it off as well. Because that's where we're looking. And then finally, mode. When would this be most appropriate? The one that, the data value that shows up the most often. Well, this is really helpful when the data has a lot of repeated values. When you look all, at all three and we notice that there's one that's quite a bit off from the others, then we probably know that that one's not a good measure of center. So I just want to show you a quick example to illustrate what happens if we do have some extreme values and how that could affect our mean, median, mode, and which one to choose. So if I have some values like 35, 30, 50, 200, 30, 70, and 20, I kind of already noticed that there's a really large number that's pretty far away from the rest. So I have a feeling that this is an outlier. So I might just go ahead and not notate that. All right, so let's go ahead and find the mean. Again, that's the average. 35. plus 30, plus 50, plus 200, plus 30, plus 70, plus 20. That gives me 435 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And so my mean is approximately 62. All right. The mode, or the median rather, the center of the data, so I write these from least to greatest first, and then find the middle value. Because there's an odd number, the nice thing is the middle value will be your median. And that happens to be uh, 35. And then the mode is the one that repeats the most often, which looks like it's 30. Now notice how the median and mode are close together, but the mean is far further away. It doesn't really match the other two measures of center. Well, let's see what happens to the mean if I remove that large number. So this time, I'm only going to have six values. 35 plus 30 plus 50 plus 30 plus 70 plus 20. That's 235 divided by 6. And I get approximately 39. So the median now is going to be the average of the two middle values once they're put in order. And so that's going to be 32.5. And our mode 
is 30 still. Notice how all of these are a lot closer together because we took out the outlier, or what we think is the outlier. And so again, this shows with the outlier, and this shows without the outlier. And we can see the change in the mean as a result.